welcome back guys to a new video now today i'm going to be talking about the valentine's day event that is coming for arc survival evolved if you didn't know as well today is the official release of version 278 for the pc as well february the 10th um which is going to have like creative mode it's going to have the uh, dino tlc phase one so much stuff to look forward to and if you are wondering about the console um if you can find out more information in my video i did uh, like two days ago which is my last one but I do have the news for you if you didn't see it, which is uh, Jeremy obviously saying on Twitter, looking like approximately the 20th of February for the console versions. So massive shout out to Wildcard for actually bringing the PC update officially eight days earlier and for the console like th two to three weeks earlier or even a month because sometimes they take so much longer on from the PC. Now, if you do enjoy today's video and you get all the information you need to know, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. All the support means so much to me because we're getting closer and closer to 80,000 and one day I'm hoping to build towards that 100,000 subscriber mark. But anyway, let's get into the video. So at the start, I'm going to do a very quick run through of everything that's coming out with version 278. Then I'll be getting on with the Valentine's Day update and letting you guys know all the information. So as you can see, um, on the 10th of February, which is today, the turret change will be happening and it'll be a limit. It'll be they'll be limited to 100 turrets within the 10k unit radius. So that is going to be started from today when the update does go live. So you won't be able to be uh, over the radius and also. All turrets that are in existing already set up will still work until the 18th of February, but I'd recommend you guys starting on like getting them changed now. Um, otherwise, if you just leave them and after the 18th of February, those turrets outside the radius will not work. Now, as, as you do know, as I said, it's going to be the release of Phase 1 of the Dino TLC, which is bringing the change to the Procoptodon, as you guys can see on the screen right there. It's also bringing the change to the Gigantopithecus, which is the Bigfoot. It's bringing the change to the Dire Bear, and it's also bringing changes to the Dire Wolf and the Rex. Now, if you want more information, I know I've said about three times because it does show you about there's going to be new abilities for these dinos as well. Check out my last video and there's all of this stuff as well, which you can pause this video right now and read through everything here, um, which is things like creative mode. But if you want to see stuff into detail, you can check out the video. It's just called like huge arc update or something. It has all the news you need to know there because there is so much coming, which all, as I said, will be coming to the console uh, PS. Uh, PS for and Xbox One on February the 20th. But anyway, getting in with the news you need to know. Now, if you're wondering, Dom, how do you know this is, isn't still an ETA? It's because Jeremy as well said right here, ARC version 278 Dino TLC 1 releasing tomorrow, um, Saturday, February the 10th, afternoon Eastern. So he's just confirming it. And then about the Valentine's Day event, tomorrow's announcement for PC patch version 278 will also include info on this year's Valentine's Day event and another Dino TLC preview. So we've already had Dino TLC preview 1 and 2, and then when the patch does get released for the announcement later on today, we will have a third Dino TLC preview talking about other ones that are going to be getting the improvements. But you guys, obviously, from the title, came to hear about the Valentine's Day event. Now, we'll be getting all the official news you need to know on everything that's coming with that a little bit later today, which will be a separate video um, from me. But I am going to be going through the news that we did from what we did get last year and also um, what I expect, hopefully, that Wildcard do uh, actually bring to us. So what will be great for the event this year is that um, Wildcard actually bring the um, Wildcard actually bring the Valentine's Day update on Valentine's Day or a day before, so maybe the 13th, and also bring it to the console exactly the same time as well. Because there'd be no point bringing the uh, console update on the 20th of February and the event because there's it'd be six days after Valentine's Day. So hopefully we should be looking at seeing the actual up, uh, um, event go live on the uh, PC and the console exactly the same time so last year for Valentine's Day they said uh, love is in the air and what a better way to celebrate Valentine's Day with our mate boosted booted event on boosted sorry about that I, can't, I keep saying things wrong on Ark Survival Evolved the Ark will be placed under Cupid's loving spell with this event survivors will gain the ability to learn one new emote as well as a new stylish haircut for each gender 
Creatures have been also affected by Cupid's spell in the following way, which they have a 5% chance to drop a box of chocolate when they mate. And boxes of chocolate can be used for full health. So let's say you're very low on health, you eat a box of chocolates, it's an instant full health, and to advance 50% of the creature's attaining affinity bar. So obviously this stuff, well, they usually bring exactly what they did the year before, but add more. So when I do bring the, uh, the Valentine's Day video later on tonight, when we do get the news on it, um, hopefully we'll see, uh, we'll hear about lots of other new stuff. But also all servers, including official, using the following um, command bar can get some extra muted uh, bo mate boosted bonuses, as you can see here, which would be a mate boosted range increased by 2%, mating speed and mating recovery in increased by 3%. Creature ma uh, maturing and egg incubation speed has been increased by 3%, and baby food consumption has been decreased by one third. So that is everything that's been going on with the servers uh, last year. So we'll all be getting similar stuff than that this year. Um, but everything will be a little bit different, obviously, because they do uh, try and add in new stuff with new events every year. And it's great that actually bringing us this event because we were meant to get um, a, we were meant to get Fear of Old 3 last year and the Chris, uh, Winter Wonderland 3, I think it was. And we didn't get any of them. So it'd be absolutely brilliant if we could actually have a great Valentine's Day event this year. They also did a special thing where you can create a special Valentine message for your favourite survivor where you can actually create a card and select one and put a message on it and stuff. You can't currently use it on this one because they've got rid of the link because this was last year's. So hopefully they'll have a similar thing, um, especially for this year's Valentine's Day. And they said, thank you, happy Valentine's and I hope you're enjoying this lo uh, loving festive holiday. So if you are on a like um you know dedicated server or a nitrodo nitrodo server whatever you're running on if you're on official you can have this um on your event if you are on one of the rented servers you can choose to turn on the event and if you're on a dedicated server you'll be able to use the command um as seen on the screen here which I'm sure will be exactly the same this year but if there's anything different as I said I'll be making a video later on today so, a bit of a recap. Big stuff coming. We've got PC version 278 coming, and if you're on the console, it'll be version 771 and version 520 for the PS4 and the, X, uh, and the Xbox One. Um, Xbox One will be version uh, 771 and PS4 was 520. And also, we'll be getting the Valentine's Day event news coming later on, So and, and another Dino TLC preview, which is something I'm really looking forward to. So huge stuff going on with Ark Survival Evolved at the moment. And as I said, when I get more news, I will let you guys know it straight away. But thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you would like to support, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more news. Links will always be in the description down below. But apart from that, I'll see you guys later. So I wanted to end off this video talking about my brand new series that I'll be bringing to the channel. It's going to be called Ark Best Builds and the reason why I'm starting this now is because of the release of Creative Mode. So many people in the comments have said like I'm going to be building some amazing stuff when Creative Mode comes out and I just feel like it'll be a great series where people can build amazing things on Ark Survival Evolved whether you use Creative Mode or whether you don't or even builds you've done already and um, it's going to be a series that you'll be able to submit to an email, your screenshots and some of the videos and I'll be doing like sort of top 5 best builds and everything on Ark Survival Evolved. This series will take place like a week after the update for the console. It may come a little bit earlier it all depends on when this happening uh, when this does actually start and i will make a whole separate video anyway on the arc best build series which email you can email it to and stuff and i cannot wait to start it because i've been wanting to bring a series to my channel for a long time so it's going to be great make sure to get uh like building on arc and if as i said if you do have any like buildings already that are absolutely amazing and you're proud of them and you want it to be involved in the series you can use that already um i'm obviously going to be doing like arc best builds from what i can build as well i wouldn't say i'm the best builder on arc but with creative mode i definitely feel like i'm going to be into building like crazy bases and stuff a little bit more but anyway yeah thought i wanted to end this off in today's video because um it's a series that i'm starting soon i've been talking about it for a while but anyway thank you for watching this video make sure to drop a like i know i've said that about 10 times in this video subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, I'll see you guys later.